fitting into these scalings muscles here, right on the side of your neck there. Now, a bit of an awkward, tricky position to get into, uh, kind of like you're gonna be kissing the ground, but it's really the easiest way to get to this position, like you can do up against the wall. So again, you kind of squash up against the wall. I find that you can actually get a bit more leverage, a bit more pressure on the ground. So, muscle down the side of the neck there, coming down onto the ground, make sure it's uncomfortable, and just pop that ball in and around that neck and just find those gnarly spots. There'll be quite a few around, so don't worry. Can't quite find anything. You will just play a little bit longer. And again, just find those spots, breathe and sink into it. Like manipulate your body around so I can move my shot out of the way so I can get my head down a little bit more and just play with that position. Nice, easy breaths and just relax into it. You can come even further around to the back of the head there. Anywhere is fair game around that neck. Obviously, if you can start feeling your heartbeat going, get off it, you're just on the pulse there, you don't wanna do that. But there's a lot of tissue you can really get into and really open up. Um, and what you may find as well, you may find a good trigger point that can kind of bring on a headache. That's actually a good thing. It shows where you're tense most, which could potentially be causing those headaches. So hang out in the area a little bit longer. Don't push too hard, of course. As always, when mashing with the ball, make sure you can breathe and hold a conversation. Okay, and make sure you do both sides. Cool.